Robert Kiyosaki is an American businessman and author. Kiyosaki is the founder of Rich Global, LLC and the Rich Dad Company. He has been following the silver market for decades. This is what he says. And Powell is now making a warning, creating a warning against Bitcoin. So they're scared right now because the system is collapsing. I save gold and silver, which are God's money. God's money has been here since the earth was formed. So why is the price 1800 Well, that's just the price because we're able to financially engineer the futures market to keep the price low. But if you actually want to announce, it's much more. And then there was this huge war between, you know, Robin Hood, Reddit against uh, GameStop. And the little guys kind of won, but they got their asses kicked. They tried it with silver and they couldn't do it because that's real money. Silver and gold are God's money. They couldn't, they couldn't mess with the market because the big producers out of the, the comics and, you know, Tesla, Apple, Toshiba, Microsoft, all these guys who use silver kept the price suppressed. You know, and so you idiots out there saving U.S. dollars or pesos or yen or euro, get E.B. Tucker's book, Why Go, Why Now? Because you're getting screwed. I mean, like, you know, like when, when people argue about gold or a Bitcoin, I just quote, you know, Yogi Berra. When you come to the fork in the road, take all three. You know, I, I yeah. have all three. And right now I'm high on silver because it's the most suppressed. It's 50% below its all-time high yet. That's how they've manipulated the market. And what I liked about your book, you you explain how it's manipulated. So can you give a quick scenario of how they keep the price manipulated? When you see the price of silver trade, like on this Bloomberg screen behind me, you're not actually seeing the physical price of silver. You're seeing a contract for future silver delivery, which will never happen, will be settled in dollars. And so the guys in New York are able to sell an unlimited amount of those contracts into the market and settle those in dollars. It's called the futures market. Now, you don't see this with copper, which is at an all-time high. It's, it's been running all year because we're experiencing big inflation. You don't see this with lumber. If you bought a two by four recently, I have. The price is <laughs> double. So, so all of the things that we buy that we need are going up in price, but the metals are different because, because it's in the government's best interest to keep the price down. And so you create financial products called futures that you're able to unload into the market to keep the price down. And that's that's creating a difference between the gold price and other commodities. It distracts people. Now, Bitcoin is, to your point, is great. But Bitcoin is not digital gold because gold is not physical Bitcoin. These two things are not interchangeable. They're very different. So people ask all the time, should I buy one or the other? It's not like that. That's 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 not the case. You know, it, 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 These are two very different things, and they should be looked at differently. We talk in the book, as you know, in part three, about how Bitcoin was created. And we, we have a theory behind who might have created it, which I don't think many people you know, go into, and they, they'll see that in the book. But this is a very different asset. This is not the same thing as gold. That's correct. The most important thing is you want to know the differences between silver and gold and gold, silver, and Bitcoin. And you can make a more logical decision. And then, you know, I, I caught hell the other day. So how can you buy Bitcoin at $50,000? I said, I didn't buy it at 50000 And this is my point to everybody right now, is that silver and gold, the prices are held down now. Right. And if you're watching Bitcoin, but the real action is going to take place. And I could be wrong, but I think it's silver, then gold. That's right. It's so happening it's right so, now. You, it's you, you so manipulated. It. I have a huge trade on this, by the way. You can see it right now happening. It's like a beach ball that you've pulled down under the water, 10 feet under the water. And when you let it go, it's going to go flying, not just to the surface, but way up in the air and out of the pool. That's that's what silver looks like. But people need to understand something, Robert. You don't buy gold to make a profit. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. Right. Gold is not a trade. It's wealth. It's real money. There are other things that we can talk about that you buy to make a profit. 
But gold is about financial security. It's about insurance. It's an ins- it's a fire insurance policy. You don't buy fire insurance to make money unless you're a criminal. But but you buy fire insurance so that you can protect what you have and you can build from there. If you lose your foundation, you're in big trouble. Yeah. And, and so there's differences between silver, gold and Bitcoin. And they're all significant differences. And, you know, it's. If I told you today you could buy Bitcoin at five dollars, would you say I'll think about it? But that's what we're saying is happening with silver and gold right now because it's manipulated. But it's even worse than that is because I took a friend of mine down to Argentina because this guy is, you know, highly educated, very successful and all this, but he is old school. And I took him to Argentina to meet my friend who was an engineer, a civil, I mean, electrical engineer in Argentina. Yeah, he had a electrical engineering firm. He said he, he saved U.S. dollars. He had a million U.S. dollars in the bank in Argentina. And then one day the bank told him, they said that we took your, we took your money. And they said, Oh, don't worry. We'll give you a million in Argentine peso or whatever they trade in. Yep. Peso. That's right. And, and and so I took my, my, so I, I, and he, and he said, do you have any advice? He says, if I had plata or oro, you know, which is gold or silver, yep. and I yep. had outside the country, I would be okay. But because I had everything inside the banking system of Argentina, and worst of all, in U.S. dollars, and they exchange it for pesos, I'm trapped. I can't get out of this country because the economy collapsed. So I, I looked at my friend. He goes, God, this is good. I'm glad you saw this. You know, that was five years ago. Well, that's why I'm going back to my friend five years ago. And the other, and so I just talked to him. I said, how much silver did you buy? He goes, I didn't buy any. He says, well, I don't understand it. So that's why I suggest people read your book, Why Gold, right now, because then you can make a better distinction between silver, gold, and Bitcoin. They're all different. They have strengths and they have weaknesses. There's a lot to understand on this subject because, like I say, gold and silver is God's money. Bitcoin and crypto is people's money. It's outside the system. That's right. And, and you can do it legally. And I'm, I'm laughing right now because Yellen and Janet Yellen and Powell are on attack against Bitcoin. And, and, the, and Yellen says it's not, it's not efficient. I said, well, is printing a trillion dollars efficient? And I'm going, are you kidding me? And Powell is now making a warning, creating a warning against Bitcoin. So they're scared right now because the system is collapsing. I save gold and silver, which are God's money. God's money has been here since the earth was formed. And right. it's, it's silver, gold, and you know, I, I, I shifted to Bitcoin. I, I still bought as much gold as I'm still buying gold. I bought some the other day because this guy had uh, some 10 ounce bars where, you know, you know, kilos come in and they're hard to get. I mean, it's really yeah. hard to get. That's right. And it's getting hard. I couldn't even buy silver the other day. I mean, this is 2021. Well, what does that but tell you? Supplies are gone. <clears throat> That's right. And, 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 so, plus, and plus they're suppressing people, the prices. There's people don't know this. The prices. Yeah, they don't, they don't understand how this works, Robert. So imagine if you go to McDonald's and there's a dollar menu and they say you can get this item for a dollar. You order the item and they say it'll be 350. Wait a minute. I thought it was a dollar. Yeah, that's right. That's the price. But if you want one, it's 350. That's how it works with gold. The price is 1800. Oh, I'd like to have an ounce. Okay. It'll be 2000. Well, wait a minute. I, I don't understand. And you got to wait two months for it. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3,000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn 500,000, 1 million dollar, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke. And you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where to start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. 
but there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy, but the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.